Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining us on the BMI Care TV. This is your host, Brian Myler, a medical doctor by profession specialized in psychiatry. Today, I would like to share one additional opportunity, but before that, I would like to thank all those that have already subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel. It is because of you that this channel exists. And for those that are coming here for the first time, I would like to encourage you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way, you'll be encouraging us to continue sharing content that may be beneficial to you and probably help you to become the best that you would like to become in this life. And so today, I would like to share one opportunity for sub-Saharan Africa, uh, which is called Global Health Corps Fellowship. And so without wasting much time, I'll jump right into this by sharing the screen. So there we are. So Global Health Corps. So you can see that this is just like a simple Google search that I'm going to be doing with this particular uh, link. And so I'm going to simply say enter and it will bring me to this particular page. So on this page, I am going to look for the section that says learn more and apply. So this one here, I'll click on this one. And then from there, I will be brought here where it says apply for the Africa Fellowship. So it says here, yeah, Global Health Corps welcomes young professionals from Burundi, Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Malawi, Nigeria, Rwanda, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe to apply for a paid 13 month fellowships with health organizations in Malawi, Rwanda, Uganda, and Zambia. Now, this fellowship recruits and selects highly qualified applicants with diverse skill sets and backgrounds to be placed in high impact organizations for a 13 month fellowship. During this fellowship year, fellows make significant contributions to their placement organizations and the communities they serve. They also engage in robust leadership training and integrate into Global Health Corps Global Network. And so we are basically talking about applying for the 2023-2024 Africa Fellowship Cohort, which opened just recently and will be closing on January 11, 2023. Um, before we go on the how to apply, basically you want to learn a little bit more about this particular fellowship. So what is this fellowship? And so here we are told, welcome to your leadership journey. So it's about leadership. So the Global Health Fellowship is an exciting opportunity for one to build their skills and gain experience with a high impact health organization. But it's also much more than that. It's a year that will catalyze your personal and professional growth as a leader, placing you within a global and diverse network of bright, young and committed health equity champions. It is, we hope, the beginning of the rest of your career working towards equitable health systems. So it helps people to enhance their leadership skills through trainings, coaching, mentorship within this fellowship journey. 
And so one learns as they go and then become part of a supportive, dynamic, global community. And along the way, it helps young people to build resilience. So transforming health system is a complex, difficult, and long-term work. And you have to bring your whole self. So cultivating resilience, self-care, and empathy as an emerging leader is a core component of this, the Global Health Corps uh, curriculum. So who are then ideal applicants? So ideal applicants value collaboration, they are committed to learning, they are inspiring and good at mobilizing. They are committed to social justice. They are adaptive and innovative in the way they do things to make the world better. And not only that, they are results driven. So what's the eligibility criteria? for this particular opportunity. So one has to be 13 years of age or younger. They must hold a bachelor's or undergraduate university degree. They must be proficient in English. And, and furthermore, they must be a citizen or legal permanent residence of Burundi, Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Malawi, Nigeria, Rwanda, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, or Zimbabwe. So what are the timelines? So when you look at the timelines, you notice that applications opened in December, which is December 1, 2022. So applications, applicants can find fellowship roles here and start an application here. Application then will close in January 11, 2023, at this specific time. Recommendations forms are expected to be received by January 25, 2023, again, the specific time. Selecting the next cohort will now take place with the review applications from January through February. Conducting interviews will happen in March and April and offer, offer letters will start loading out beginning late April. And then the fellowship will start at the Training Institute in July, 2023. So let's just briefly go through the process on how to apply. So here they say find fellowship laws here. So you can either go there, which brings you to this particular page. And you can see here that uh, this here says step one. So on this step one, you have to select your citizenship. So you will just come to this section here, select if you are from Burundi, Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia. So. For argument's sake, let's say I am from Zambia and I want to apply. So I'll click Zambia and within there, I'll be able to actually see the opportunities that are available for, for Zambia. So you can see here, these are some of the opportunities that are available for, 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 for Zambia. So the next thing that I'm supposed to do then is to select my placement. So I'm supposed to review the laws that are here. You can narrow your search by using the filters on the left side. You may apply for a maximum of three rows. So then you can go through each of these rows to basically see which which placement appeals to your interest. But according to this here, they say you can apply for a maximum of three different roles. So if in terms of placement location, you can choose whether to be placed within Zambia 
So if I can say I want to be placed within Zambia, that will help narrow down some of the opportunities that are available on the on the on the right side. So you you you'll be able to see that the opportunities narrow down if I want to be placed in Zambia. And then if I want to be placed in say Malawi, so uh, that again will change the available opportunities on this side. So this is basically what happens. And so when I've read each of these opportunities or placements that are available, then I'll be able to identify which opportunities appeal to my interest and my qualifications, my experience, and then from there, I can proceed with the application. So this is uh, the opportunity that I thought to share with you. And so just in case you are interested to apply for this particular opportunity, you may want to basically come back to this particular website and uh, learn much more information about this opportunity. So one way to do that is basically to go on the frequently asked uh, questions. So you can uh, reach out to that section by going on the Africa Fellowship Frequently Asked Questions page. And in case you find that you have a question that has not been answered on that particular page, then you can uh, come down here and reach out to the organization. But before doing that, I would like to just show you the benefits that are available for this particular uh, fellowship. So what benefits are available, fellowship benefits and logistics? So if I'm some, someone is going to get a living stipend, professional development funds, completion awards, housing, health insurance, travel costs covered to and from global health, ops training and retreats, visa and work permits will be provided for you. And so just to uh, get more information on each of these, you can scroll down. You can see here living stipend this further explains to say if you are from Malawi, if, if, if each country seems to have its own amount. So Malawi, Rwanda seems to have the same amount. Uganda, Zambia, uh, and Malawi, Rwanda, and Zambia seems to have the same amount. While Uganda is at 550 US dollars in terms of the, the stipends. And then the professional development is at $600 during the fellowship year. And the completion award, fellows who complete the entire fellowship year in good standing and participate in the end of year retreat are eligible for the 1,500 completion award. Housing, so housing is provided for all fellows during their fellowship year. So the placement organization will arrange housing for fellows. So your housing is also covered, so you don't have to worry. If you are from Zambia, maybe you want to go and uh, be placed in Malawi, you don't have to worry about accommodation. Accommodation will be sorted out by the placement organization. And health insurance is also covered as well. So that is something that you don't have to worry about as well. Travel is also covered. Global health coordinates all travel logistics or provides an equitable travel stipend to fellows for all global health retreats. So if you want to apply to become a fellow, you can apply to be a fellow there. You can learn more about the fellowship program here. And you can actually uh, subscribe to this particular opportunity so that each time this opportunity is made available, you will be notified and you can actually share it with others. So this is uh, the opportunity that I thought of sharing for those individuals that are below the age of 30 and are interested in making a difference in the health sector. Uh, with that, I may simply say that thank you so much.
for watching this particular video. And if you like this video, please hit the like button so that this video can be shared with others that might have interests uh, for this so for, so for such particular type of uh, videos. And um, in case you are watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, I'm simply encouraging you to please subscribe to our channel. That way you will encourage us to continue creating content and sharing the, such content on our YouTube channel, the BMIP TV. Thank you very much.